welcome back to another lip balm review. Sorry that I'm late on it today. And no, no worries, did not chop the hair. It's just, it's pinned up. It's all here, see? It's just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we are doing another lip smack review today. Another one of the frappes or fraps. I don't know. I think it's frappe. Um, this one is the mocha fudge one. Um, I I've went the. Tw I could talk. I could talk. Really. Words can happen. Anyway, I was going between the three that I still have left. There's mocha fudge, there is cafe latte, and there's white chocolate. We all know how I feel about white chocolate, so that was not gonna win. Cafe latte and this one were basically in the running against each other, and slightly felt more like this one just because I'm hoping that it'll be more like what I hoped. The, um, what was that Eos? Where was it? The peppermint mocha what I had hoped it was, would be, even though there's no peppermint here. So, I guess we're going to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I have no doubt it'll smell terrible and plasticky, but oh well. Nothing that I can do about that. Let's suck it up. Oh, shiznit. I definitely just gouged into the top of it. Awesome. Okay, I kind of... Um, that less visible. Alright, that's a, whatever. Whatever. So here it is. It's really cute. And I love how apparently even in, I don't know if it's French or German or what, it's still fudge mocha. It's just M-O-K-A instead of mocha fudge. So apparently it's mocha fudge in English, but fudge mocha in whatever the other language is, I think it's French. Oh, I suppose it's also right there. I'm stupid. Okay, so format was it is a pointy dome. Well, that's really lighter than I was expecting. I was expecting this cup, uh, color for the cafe latte one. Whoa, the plastic is strong. I'll come back to the smell later. Um, but yeah, so packaging wise, it's really cute. Wish it didn't reek like uh, plastic, but again, what can you do? What can you do? So, it is not natural or organic, it is synthetic. I don't know if this flavor is limited edition. I know the packaging is limited edition with the watercolor leaves on it, which appeals to me right now. I don't know, I'm in a weird, obsessed with watercolors phase right now. I suck at doing watercolors, but I'm obsessed with the look of watercolors. I don't know. I don't know, guys. So this is like appealing to me even more now than it did when I bought it. And just, I don't know, it's it's so cute. But yeah, this came out in like September, so it's been a while. That's why the autumnal packaging, and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. I have a crap ton of newer lip smackers to review, but I'm not going to do them until I get through these older ones. So, anyways, moving right along. Uh, it was part of a set of five, although they were sold individually, not as like a set. But um, there was this one. The pumpkin spice latte one, the eggnog one, and then the other two that I still have yet to review that I already just mentioned. So, yeah. Then a product is... <laughs> 0 0.26 ounces. So, teeny tiny bit more than a quarter of an ounce. So, a teeny tiny bit more than a Neos or a Rebo. Shelf life is 24 months after opening. Price point on this, I believe, is about $4, because I remember there- or was it? Wait. Were the Halloween Zoom Zooms five, and I was mad at that? No, I believe they were six, and I was livid, because I'm used to them being five. And I feel like these were a dollar less, so maybe these were five. I don't remember for sure. I forget if they were four or five, but they were one of those two at Walgreens anyway. But yeah, so sturdiness wise, these caps, although I personally, knock wood, have not had this happen. I've heard of a few people having this top part come off and just bust off. Apparently you can snap it back into place if none of the plastic busts off, but a lot of the times plastic busts off. So that's not great. This cup is also super duper flimsy, but it's basically just there to 
How's your lip balm? And keep dirt out of it, so... Ultimately, not that important, but... Still a pet peeve. But yeah, so... There's that. At least the locking mechanism works relatively well on this, so... No special features, no SPF, no medication, so I guess we're gonna talk about the scent. As much as I can, anyway, without getting distracted by that horrible plastic smell. Okay, so I'm getting some chocolate here. I'm trying to block as much of the plastic with my hand, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Do not Photoshop a dick in my hands! I am saying it right now, I know how it looks. Don't. <sighs> I feel like... There is some coffee smell there, okay. It's not really, really strong. It's mostly chocolate. But again, it's fudge mocha, so to be fair, it's gonna be mostly that. <sighs> yeah, it, it's mostly chocolate, but that's okay. I mean, there is some coffee smell there. Therefore, it, it lives up to the name. That's all I ask. That is literally all I ask in a scent by any brand. I don't care if it's done super well. All I care is that it's true to the name. <laughs> That is not so much to ask. With Lip Smacker, apparently a lot of times it is a lot to ask because they'll fail on, but this time they nailed it. I uh, wish that the plastic smell weren't overpowering like the entire damn thing to where I have to try to block it with my hand just to smell the actual lip balm scent, but, you know, especially because then the plastic smell transfers to your hands. I am really not a fan of that. But that's just me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. See if it gets stronger. Gonna hope like hell it doesn't give me a plasticky taste. Some do, some don't. Ooh. I'm trying to tell if that's coffee or chocolate. It's one of those two, like, flavor-wise. It may even be both. I think they nailed it. Okay. I'm pleasantly surprised here. I put on a little bit more um, to make up for where I just licked off, like, big time. So, wow, okay. They nailed it. They're getting the wow factor. Uh, in terms of the consistency and the thickness, even with as much as I put on, it's really, really, really thin. But um, consistency-wise, it's really smooth. It's a little bit creamy. Mostly just slippery and greasy, but there's a little bit of creaminess to it. For as thin as it is, that's kind of impressive. Um, Moisturization-wise... It's Lip Smacker. Don't expect miracles. It'll do something, okay? It's better than nothing. It'll do something. But, again, if you're, you've got super chapped lips, you're gonna need something better than Lip Smacker. Just saying. But, that said, don't write off Lip Smacker entirely because they can and sometimes do help with moisturization, so hard to say for sure. But I feel like this one might. A lot of times the thinner ones, they're better at penetrating through the skin on your lips. Um, so, it just, it helps. Shine Factor has got a lot of that going on. I'm a fan. I know some of you guys aren't, but I love it when they're shiny. Longevity-wise, it's probably not going to be great. Just going to level with you. The Zoom Zooms are like this, too. Frappes so far have been like this. That's just kind of the nature of them, but that's okay. We are going to do the drink test, though. This should be an interesting flavor combo, because I have lemon ginger tea in here, because my stomach's a little, not queasy, just indigestion-y tonight, so I'm like, uh, let's see if this helps, because Tums didn't. Ooh, that is, um, hmm, interesting, interesting combo. <laughs> Questioning my life decisions right now to have this flavor tea with this, but I didn't know this was the flavor I was going to review tonight, to be honest. It 
did not mean to hit the table as hard as I just did. Mm. Yeah, it, it pretty much wore off of one spot. There's a little bit left, but it mostly wore through, so I'm going to say it failed it. So, overall rating. Um, well, first things first, I'm still docking a point for the fact that it smells so plasticky and they have not yet fixed that. So, it was a problem with the originals, it's still a problem till they fix that. I'm always going to strike him for that one. Um, price point's pretty high for what these are. So there's that. I need to burp. Hold on. <coughs> so ladylike, I know. Um, mm, drink test is going to fail. And longevity, I'm going to strike it for. So that still leaves us with 6 out of 10. Um, if it weren't for the horrible, horrible plasticky smell, I would happily give it a 7 because I feel like it would be worthy of it. But with that plastic, that is deal breaker territory for me. So I'm, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. So anyway, that's about it for me on this one. So as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Uh, subscribe? subscribe uh, make sure you hit the bell uh, notification icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below and you guys have this one if so let me know down whoa there's a screen name I haven't seen in a long time sorry I just got really distracted leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys till next time bye